And this morning I ended up posting a Craigslist listing saying that I need a couple's therapist. And let's just say, uh, we're gonna get in a few arguments. One time I took your mom's panties and smelled them too while you were a con. You are go go going way too much, way too far now. Okay, this is this, 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 we probably should stop. Oh my god, yeah, this probably are not gonna work out. You really sniffed her mom's underwear? Like, is that, were you just saying that or are you, you being serious? I wouldn't say sniffed, I'd say inhaled. Oh, oh my god, dude, um, I'm just gonna right now, like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> All right, so we got some bad news. This week, you know, I thought we were gonna film, we were gonna grind. This whole summer, I was under the impression that Tanner and I, we were gonna grind, we were gonna film, we were gonna get closer to hitting that one million milestone. But guess what, these phone number by chance, we're doing a little vlog bit. They don't know this, so don't spoil it, but we set up a little interview area, and I'm gonna quiz them to see how well they know each other after five days of hanging out. Phone well, Tanner's d Tanner's phone's dead. Actually, you could just call Mickey and then just be like, hey, how far are you from Jacob's? And then just tell me what she says. Okay. All right, you got me? Yeah. All right, wonderful, thank you. What are you thinking? You think they know each other? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> There's like no hope on this side of town. I bet you'll get some questions, right? Like, what's his name and... What? Uh, uh... Shoes off, please. Hey, Mickey, if I could have you sit down. That's my mic boy. All right, he's he's here to get audio. You know why we brought you here, right? No. You have no guess? No. So what has happened this past 24 hours? I went home. That's it? Yeah. It says here on my notes, uh, you guys are now dating? Oh, yeah, yeah, that thing, yeah. Mm, you're confident, you know, Tanner, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess. Mm, she guesses. Describe Tanner in three words. <sighs> Um, Good dick. Hey! Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up! Funny, kind, and um, good dick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> when is Tanner's birthday? July 16th. Name three of Tanner's favorite hobbies. Skateboarding, piano, and drinking. What attributes do you bring to Tanner's life? Um, I make him laugh sometimes. Well, he can look up cat videos at 3 a.m. <laughs> and tickle his own belly, you know? We can come back to that one. All yeah. Right, yeah. I'll just, what's your end goal with Tanner? I don't know, we started dating yesterday. You gotta have an end goal though, right? Um, Is it uh, a green card? Oh, oh, that stuff. Do you guys do butt stuff? Yeah, let's just uh, <laughs> wrap this up. All right. Um, yeah, I'm happy for you guys. That's that's wonderful. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all the questions we wrote. Uh, let me and my colleague discuss what we're feeling on this. Personally, I think she chose the wrong guy. <laughs> Oh, there's so many spiders on these. All right, so I have these Home Depot buckets. And come on, we all know the game beer pong, absolute classic of a game. But my dad, when I was little, decided to use Home Depot buckets as like the solo cups and then miniature soccer balls as like the ping pong balls. So anyway, we came up with the bright idea to have Luke and Nick go head to head, one on one. Whoever loses is gonna have to jump in the mall fountain at Park Meadows, which we've done a few times, but I mean, it's been a few years, so they probably miss us, but we'll see. We got one down, six more to go. My dad told me if I ever get arrested for being in one of your videos, I'm not getting bailed out. What have we ever done that's illegal, huh? My name's Nick Freetag, but you can also call me The Undertaker! <laughs> <laughs> one last time, but a little less gay. What? <laughs> How confident are you that you're about to win this match? I'm a solid 8 out of 10 right now. Win or lose, I'm getting some beer and getting a bath at the end of the day, so I'm good with whatever. Vegas, yeah, I drink bangers, get serenade. All right, boys, I want a clean fight here, okay? No talking about his hot sister. That's not allowed. No talking about his hot brother. You're starting first. You understand the rules? Do you have any questions? Let the games begin. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! The Undertaker is, oh, he shoots. Oh! Oh! And he missed the hole. Isn't that the story of his life? And the Undertaker shoots. Oh. Come on, dude. Skate Pride Month. What the fuck is that supposed to be? I don't know. You gotta support him. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Comeback season, Luke. Comeback season. Oh. Oh, no. You could try underhand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Like See? That. That's the shot. Like That's the shot. That. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Zone in, right here. Take your time. Right? I'd call him some words if the camera wasn't on. You can say the N word. Right here. You fucking. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh no. Oh no. Bro, how'd you fold that? You were up like four. You were the fucking ref was by it. Last I checked, our next stop is Park Meadows. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, he's gotta just go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so as you guys know, Tanner got a girlfriend and I found out recently that he texted her saying, hey, I think you should take a pregnancy test to make sure we're chilling. When I heard he texted her that, I ended up giving his girlfriend a call. Basically, I want to prank Tanner. Me and you both know you got to get the approval from me to date my friend. You didn't even go through me. After 48 hours, you're like, yeah, he's the one. I'm going to give you a positive pregnancy test and you're going to have a serious fucking talk with Tanner. Like, get him in your car. We're going to rig it up full of a bunch of cameras and you're going to convince him that you're pregnant. I'm good. You're gonna do it. Wait, do you work here, man? Yes. Where are the pregnancy tests? Sincere question, I know it sounds dumb. Uh, they would be all three in the health section or up here. Do you think these are easy to like make a fake positive on? These ones in particular? Uh, I don't know. Is this the one that like does the line, right? It does the line if it's, if it's positive. We're trying to trick our friend into thinking his girlfriend got pregnant. Are you pregnant? Could you piss on it? We're, we're hoping it goes good. He's, he's a little skeptical. I think he knows we're about to do something, but I'll pay for your stuff. Don't worry about no, it. No, no, I got okay. it. I got it. We just scan it. my stuff with hers. I'll pay for her too. <laughs> you just well, I, don't, I don't, I can't make your test positive for you. No, that's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so we picked up the pregnancy test. I don't understand how Coca-Cola is about to make a pregnancy test look positive, but one way to find out, I guess. The people around us are probably so confused right now. <laughs> I feel like a scientist. We read online that if you put Coca-Cola on a pregnancy test, it'll pop up as positive. So we're trying to prank our friend into thinking that he got his girlfriend pregnant. Well, what do you guys could actually try? And get his girlfriend pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come pull up. Is that real piss? No, this is fucking Coca-Cola. <laughs> Does your piss look like this, bro? Are you pregnant? Can you piss on this for us? Sure. I originally had a fake pregnancy test that was gonna pop up as positive, but I ordered it to Las Vegas on accident, so. Right. You can literally just like take a pen or something like that. Yeah. And, and, and oh. draw, draw over the first We gotta get a purple marker. All right, let me roll up my windows, man. We're gonna go get a pen and we're gonna secure this. We've came too far to give up. We got about 30 minutes before Mickey gets down here and, well, the good news is we have three pregnancy tests, so if we fuck up two of them, we still got one more to go. Can I get a picture just- Of course, bro, of course. It's gonna be cute, dude. That better be in your Tinder profile, man. It'll be, it'll be, uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. Especially with the I'm afraid of woman spelled wrong, dude. The girls love it, man. I'm telling you, the girls love it. Okay, no, we actually, we gotta get our head on straight though. You guys ready to absolutely petrify Tanner? How good is your acting though, like for real? On the scale of How one to 10. Here, sit down and then like, I'ma hop in the car. So that's the driver's seat. I feel like this would help your case because then he knows it's not fake pregnancy tests. Should I put them in? Yeah, you could be like, I took three. Like I've been feeling like super nauseous recently. Whatever the symptoms of pregnancy is. All right, just pretend I'm Tanner and you're announcing the news to me. So I know like we were gonna wait but and do this together, but like I've been feeling a little bit weird recently and I just, I don't know, I, so I took a test and I'm actually like kind of really excited to tell you, um, like I'm pregnant. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm sorry, dude. That's fucking good. Dude, my heart sank. <laughs> like, my heart. I was probably like, oh, fuck, my life's over. I was a kid. I don't know how to do this. I don't know if the, I'm excited to tell you. Just be like, I don't really know how to tell you this or how you're going to react, but like, I'm pregnant. I'm kind of I think we should name it like Jeremiah. <laughs> like, come up with some fucking stupid okay. name. No disrespect to any Jeremiah's out there. It's an amazing name. But for a white kid, that is awful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can see it right there. That's gonna be the perfect. All right, that's where we'll put the GoPro. We just won't be able to see his face, but we'll get close but enough. I'll turn towards him, and then he'll be yeah. turned like how Nick is. And then okay. Exactly. This exactly. is perfect. All right, so we have one stop, but that can be like if you're going to Canes, we could just like I could just swing through Target, which is right next to Canes, and I just need black duct tape or duct tape to match your interior. Oh, so you're gonna text him? Well, should I text oh, him now? So, no, 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 because we didn't even set it up yet. Text him in like, text him in like five minutes. Let's just go to fucking Target. Let's get it fully done. And then it's, it's game time. And you're acting, dude, I'm so fucking ready. I would put the AirPod in your left ear. But what if he grabs it? If you're gonna be facing him like this and he like goes in for a kiss and grabs your ear and it like falls out or some shit, it's like, hey, I'm parked at Denny's right now. Can you come meet me? I need to tell you something. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, it's set. I gotta go hide my car. I gotta go, go hide my go, car go, real go, quick. Go. All right, and hop in. Oh my god, dude, we're fucking dumb, dude. Okay, um, we need to mic you up ASAP. Um, uh, oh fuck, oh fuck. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, like, what is going on? No, like, you just need to come here, like, I, I need to talk to you. It's like nothing bad, but like, this has just happened, and then, yeah. Where's the cameras at? 
What? I'm literally by myself. There's. What do you mean? That's exactly what I would say to somebody if I was not by myself. If Jacob was with me right now, which I, he definitely is because he was supposed to be in my house 35 minutes ago. I don't know where Jacob is. I was at Anne's having the barbecue and then I had to go. I left to go to Target. And then, like, I've just been here, but I've just parked outside Denny's now. He's definitely looking for my car right now. I know the GoPro angle in the car is ass, too. Hey, camera. What, the camera? what camera? There's yes, there is. Where's your camera? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Um, Where is it? What? There it is, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. <laughs> you mother, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> God, I know this motherfucker way too well. Where is he? Where is he? They're in Denny's. They're in Denny's? Well, that's what you get for filming real pranks. Time to go back to the drawing board. I appreciate the respect, though. But I figured it would be... Oh. I thought about this video, I was like, oh, like this would be... As you guys may know, this entire video has been a complete bust. We tried convincing Tanner that he got his girlfriend pregnant and it went to complete shit. I'm not trying to upload a video if I'm not completely proud of it. I could have gone to Walmart, filmed a cussing toy prank like every other mic'd up creator, but we're trying to separate ourselves. We're trying to hit that one million. So I came up with a bright idea and this morning I ended up posting a Craigslist listing saying that I need a couple's therapist. Hi, my name's Ashley. I saw your ad on Craigslist. I don't have a degree or any professional license in this field. I just have my own personal experience with rocky relationships, mental illness, recovery, trauma, recovery, recovery. God damn, dude. I'm also told that I'm a very empathetic person. Let's give her a call, man. She's got red hair though. It is Pride Month. It's hard because we got to judge by their voice if they're going to be a good fit for this. Because we got to get someone good. No way we can have this many L's in one video. Hello? Yeah, hi. I saw your ad on Craigslist. Oh, amazing. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? You know, been better, been worse. Yeah. Another day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm looking for is I just, you know, obviously I'm not looking for anything professional, but my girlfriend doesn't know that. She really wants me to get into the couples therapy. She's talking about it. She won't stop yapping about it. So I told her I'd hire a couples therapist, but they're a little bit pricey. So I just went the Craigslist route. So we're just looking, I mean, I'm looking for someone to come down, just hear us out. You gotta pretend you're the real deal though. I'm not trying to have that start like a another argument. Cause she just, she doesn't know when to shut the fuck up sometimes. I'm about to go on a one week vacation with her family. I need to fix what's broken right now. And her family, believe me, this is gonna be one hell of a trip because her mom is just like her. Um, can you, like, what time, like, this afternoon? Or, like, uh, like, honestly, work? like, whatever works. You have a very angelic voice. I feel like maybe you could give us some wisdom. I don't know, I'm not trying to put you on blast or gaslight you. Apparently I'm a gaslighter, according to her. Oh, uh, I'll get back to you. I'm gonna call a few others. I know there was this one dude okay. named Jose who said he was interested in it for a pack of Modelos. So we'll see if he's interested in the gig. <laughs> I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven when I, I guess our uh, counselor is 29 years old. I don't really know how, how much advice you can give at 29. What do you think? Mm, probably not. I mean, if our relationship was actually in shambles, I would probably would not trust a 29 year old, but. How's it going? Good. I'm Brock. Nice to, nice to find you. You guys are you. so young. Oh my yeah. God. So, what kind of started you guys off like, kind of like? having issues, like, is there a specific thing that happened, like? I mean, we can get into detail. I don't yeah, really, I, I don't. I, I, yeah, because I kind of, I need to just kind of know what, what's going on, like. Yeah, you want to explain your issues? Yeah. She thinks I gaslight her. That's what she always says, no, it's I gaslight her. So can you give me, like, examples of, like, ways to gaslight you? If I'm trying to, like, hang out with my friends, like, go out, like, I'm not allowed to, like, those kind of things. So how do you feel about her friends? They all seem cool. She has a, she's got a gay best friend that, you know. So what, what's your issue with her going out and, do, and hanging out with her friends? Well, her gay best friend just doesn't seem super gay all the time. Like, I don't know if he's really gay or if that's like a persona that, that he's saying he is gay so he can hang out with her. We're talking a 6'4", light-skinned dude. I don't know how gay that is. I shouldn't have my, to ask permission from him to hang out with my girlfriend, right? Like, I shouldn't have to ask him, like, hey, can I stay over tonight with her? My husband would kill somebody. So you guys don't live together, I'm assuming? Is that what it is? I, I stay at her place. She's got her own place. Okay. But so. she gets mad and I don't have a job or... I'm trying to... That's also something. It's just like... Like, well, I'm trying to get a job. Yeah, but it's not I'm trying to become a gynecologist. Yeah, but that's also like a massive problem. He literally told me the other day he wants to do it to look at other women's pussy without calling it cheating. I, I was but drunk when like I said that. Like, I was drunk when I, I still, I do, I have, no. I want to help, I want to help women. I want to become a gynecologist. I mean, it would help you out if I went to gynecology school. You only say I can't find the clip. Wow. I'd probably fucking learn then, huh? It's messed up. 
Alyssa. I think she's just trying to flip this onto me right now. She's trying to you see you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to drop the six three light skin dude okay, off the see, topic right now. Guy. It's just like in general, like my family, my friends, they hate him because he just like makes like comments and jokes that are like really not. I made one joke at Thanksgiving dinner, and it was like huge ordeal. One joke. Well, you want to tell what it was? Yeah, it was. Uh, how do you know when your girlfriend's dead? The sex is the same, but the dishes start piling up. And her whole family thought it was such a big ordeal, and your mom didn't know when to fucking stop yapping. You want to bring up your ladies' details? Like this. Shake your body. Hey, just one sec. I'm in the middle of something. But it's just like the way he like acts in front of my family. Like one time he was like making a comment about my sister. She's twelve, and I'm like, okay. Well, okay, like, no, don't that. don't make me sound out to be a bad guy. I didn't make a. I said she has potential for when she gets older. She's twelve. I said she has potential. I wasn't talking about she was cute then. I was saying when she's 18, she has potential. She really filled out this summer. She's 12 years old, bro. Well, she's okay. almost 13 now. Stop with the comments, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no, we're done with that. We're, I think you're the one. I think you need therapy. I think you both need to stop doing that. That right there, you tell me. Oh, I'm just trying to help her out. Do you have an issue if, if you made her feel like she wanted you to be around? Yeah, sorry, it's... And you have ADHD or something, dude. I'm a clan leader. It's war day. I have five hours left to attack. It's, okay, fine, yeah. Is that so wrong that I have hobbies? At least my hobby's not hanging out with a 6'3 light-skinned dude. Not okay, okay, not like One time I took your mom's panties and smelled them too while you were gone. They were used to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it smelled on. like used multiple times. You need to tell her to start changing that daily. Okay, hold on. Oh, wow, okay, um, this became very... And there was that tissue in there that girls use. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That little, like, puffy on, tissue hold on, thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know dude. what I'm saying? The sticky, puffy okay, tissue? Yeah. Hey, hold That on. was in there. You are go go going way too much, way too far now, okay? This, 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 we probably should stop. Oh my God, you guys probably are not gonna work out. You really sniffed her mom's underwear? Like, is that, were you just saying that or are you, you being serious? I wouldn't say sniffed, I would say inhaled. Oh, oh my God, dude. Um, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Really quick before I end off this video, I want to let you guys know, 4th of July is right around the corner and that is the one day of the year that there's going to be a ton of ladies out there. You're going to have your time to shoot your shot and you want to be wearing the right thing for the right moment. We just dropped this limited edition shirt. It says, man, I love fireworks, the classic MILF. You guys know we love our hot moms. On top of that, we just dropped a whole new design of I'm Afraid of Woman. That being said, thank you guys for the support. Sorry that we didn't post for the last two weeks. We're back on our grind though. Every Sunday there will be a new video and yeah, if you guys want to pick up some drip, jacobmarkets.com. I-35 with a top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me Seem like everybody